Yo, you guys are literally freaking killing the game right now. Both my last two videos have over 2,000 likes. I cannot even describe to you. That is freaking amazing. The last video I literally posted less than 24 hours ago. It's already at over 2K likes. Let's keep it going. Please take a second. Hit that like button down below. If this video gets 1,200 likes, I'm going to do an unboxing showing off more from these three brands. And your boy is definitely going to do a preview and a live cop this week for Supreme. So definitely take a second. Hit that like button down below. Hopefully your likes will channel the energy and get me a box logo this week because you know your boy needs the tees too. I need the tees with the hoodies. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Like I said, take a second. Hit that like button down below. Once you watch the video, if you guys like the content and you guys want to subscribe, definitely do that. Subscribe, turn on post notifications. Thank you guys so much for the support. Honestly, it means the freaking world to me. When I get good support like this, it just motivates me to create better content. And if you guys look, I actually took my time with this video. I took some of these pieces outside, did some cool edits. Hopefully you guys like it. I'm really excited to show you guys. So anyways, let's get to the video. Like I said, if you didn't like that video, what are you doing? But definitely, thank you guys so much again. And uh, let's get to it. I just unboxed a plethora of stuff from three brands. Three brands that we are going to discuss today. Those three brands are, of course, Palace, Golf, and FT. Now, I've unboxed stuff from all three of those brands in the past. More Palace and FTP than Golf, but I have shown off Golf on this channel and, of course, my Instagram. That being said, if you guys want more unboxings from Golf, more unboxings from Palace, more unboxings from FTP, then make sure you smash the like button down below. If this video gets 1,200 likes. That's one, two, zero, zero likes. I will unbox the stuff that I have coming in. I have some more Golf coming in. I have some more FTP coming in. I believe I also have more Palace coming in. So make sure if you want to see more of any of those three brands, smash the like button down below. If this video gets 1,200 likes, I will do more of these in the future. But let me put this on the tripod real quick because I didn't even do a proper intro. This video is going to be a little bit different than a normal unboxing. <clears throat> Before we get into that, what is up, YouTube? Welcome to Live from Today we're gonna go over. Uh, I, I always want to do the Supreme drop list intros, but no, we're gonna go over some brands. Like I said, three brands in particular that I believe have more, not necessarily more hype, but I believe that they're doing better than Supreme. But this is taking all things into consideration. The reason I chose these three brands is because these three brands all have enough hype. I feel like the core following of Supreme is not too satisfied with this last season. And I feel like if you look at the last Palace season, last Golf season, or last FTP season, their core audience is very pleased with what those companies or what those brands are creating. And on top of that, all three of those brands have a good amount of hype. Like if they do a collaboration or a special release, there's going to be a long line it's gonna be hard to get. There's enough hype behind these brands to compete with Supreme. These three brands are on the come up. And today's video is also sponsored by yet another brand that is on the pum up. I, I almost said pum up because the brand is Puma, the Puma come up. I've done Puma sponsored content and I've also done content around Puma that was not sponsored. For example, at ComplexCon, that was not sponsored by Puma. Puma did not pay me at all, but I spent a lot of my time documenting what was going on at the Puma booth because I personally feel that Puma is doing a lot of dope stuff. I feel like they're a lot more experimental. They're coming out with a lot of dope releases. I think it's dope to see what they do with Nipsey Hussle, obviously, rest in peace. And just their overall sneaker releases. We're gonna go over two sneakers that seem to have a lot of positive reception. They've released a plethora of colors. Now these two sneakers are two different styles of the Puma writer and both of them are freaking sexy i'm kind of curious to see which ones you guys like better first we're gonna go over the puma rider i believe this is the style puma rider and there are a lot of differences from this than the other puma rider i personally like this model a lot more i think both are really sick this is the other iteration of the puma rider and you can see a lot of similarities especially with the colors that they reference you have blue green red you have baby blue accents on the midsole and then on this one you have baby blue accents on the actual sole itself i think the midsole is where you see a lot of differences in this shoe if you look at this midsole you kind of have this cream bubble midsole it's almost like two separate midsoles in the same shoe you also have these air bubble accents on the heel and near the laces speaking of the laces the actual lace material right here has this really like hard contrast stitching going around the side which i think looks super dope it gives this kind of industrial look and i also love the puma embroidery on the tongue as well you guys already know i'm a huge fan of embroidery that being said this sneaker is a little bit different you have a tongue tab as opposed to the embroidery also if you look at this shoe it has this all white upper and toe box as opposed to this one which has the white toe box but it has a separate panel stitched over it that has the blue i love all the little accents you have this little pull tab on the side pull tab right here random little things that just accent the shoe and make it look really dope and unique it definitely stands out and this is actually my second pair of these ones trust me when i wear these i get a lot of compliments but i think i like this one more i think this is more me it's also extremely experimental but i love the look of these and in today's video i'll be styling all three of the brands i discuss with these sneakers so let's get into that right now. Yo, so the homie came to help me film, and literally as soon as he walked in, he's like, Yo, these are hard. Yeah, these are hard. I'm about to cough some. Like, well, yeah, it's not both of them. Which one do you like better? 
Like, these are real simple, but these are, like, you want to add some, like, flair type shit. You Which one like? do you like better, though? Which one did you go for over first? Really? I, think, I like these ones. I but like these, like, a lot of people like these ones. I don't know. You got this in the back, this little shine right here, and then you have, like, this pop out right here. Which yeah, is I know, like, it's, yeah. like, two midsoles. And the blue, the blue on the bottom looks really dope. Too. Yeah, bro, I cool. love the different shades of blue. It looks so sick. So the first brand to discuss is FTP. Now FTP is known for creating a lot of graphics that are a little bit more offensive. Some of their popular pieces include the Columbine tee, the Terrace Organization tee, and then a lot of their all over print logo stuff is really popular as well. I'll show you one of my personal favorites in just a moment, but first I'm gonna show you some recent pickups. Of course, we got the FTP shot glasses. We got the FTP Pro Club boxers with the FTP all over print packaging. This was mandatory because of course I got the Supreme boxers and I always wear the Supreme boxers for good luck when I cop Supreme. So now I got some FTP boxers to wear for good luck when I cop FTP, especially since I took an L on that last drop. I wanted that freaking bare knit. Oh my God, that knit was so sick. Anyways, uh, I got the box cutter, mandatory once again. I got the FTP bling logo. Now this is personally one of my favorite logos. I like when brands do this. Of course, you guys see the Supreme bling towel back there. The FTP bling logo does have a little bit of hype. I think it's a really sick piece. The FTP is just a sick ass fucking brand. And that's honestly one of the reasons why I fuck with FTP so tough is the way that they carry themselves, the way that they do shit. Like it's just the same small tight knit team. It's, it's not some big company. You don't go to Zoomies and see FTP and it's like no disrespect to Zoomies or anything else. I don't care about necessarily where the brand is carried, but I do have a little bit of respect when the brand is carried so properly when everything is done just so like how streetwear should be done and i know i know there's gonna be like some ftp heads that watch the interview and be like he doesn't want to be called streetwear i don't care that's just what it's called he just wants to disassociate himself from streetwear because especially at that time he felt like streetwear was doing a lot of corny shit anyways here's another graphic that i really like then you have this right here this is a recent pickup as well that i did not show off this was where ftp was tagged on a highway sign in los angeles this is not photoshop like this was actually tagged 2019 FTP, super dope piece. I think it's really sick to include graffiti. I obviously think that those two communities mesh together. There's a lot of dope brands that started off or have some kind of graffiti roots. We got yet another pair of Pro Club boxer briefs. We got this sticker, and if you look at this sticker, this is actually the graphic. I'm just gonna show this, because I feel like it'll be easier to see, then I don't gotta open up the tee. If you look at this graphic, this is the graphic on that tee. He's wearing the FTP all over print denim, which I do actually have these denim. Sadly, they are a size 34. If you guys have these in a 32, I would love to trade you. I really want the 32 all over print FTP denim. I have the black ones. I need the blue ones. He's also, of course, wearing the FTP tee. Super dope graphic. Definitely a sick piece. So yes, FTP number one. Now the next brand is Golf. Now this isn't Golf, this is Palace, but we'll talk about Palace in a second. 
Right now, we gotta talk about this little red testicle filled button up right here on the egg yolk yellow base. Of course, this is by Golf. Look at all these bright colors. Golf founded in 2011 by Tyler, the creator himself. Although I will say I'm not the biggest Tyler fan in terms of paying attention to his music, I am a huge fan of his style and I'm also a huge fan of just what he was able to accomplish. Clearly, the dude is an artistic, very creative individual. I've really only been paying attention to Golf for like the last two years. So I wasn't even really on Golf when they were most hyped, but I think they've been killing it as of late. And the only reason I'm a fan of Golf is because of the clothing. Has nothing to do with having an affinity for Tyler or Tyler's music, which I feel like is pretty strange because the majority of people who wear Golf seem to love Tyler. Like I'm sure people are probably furiously typing like, how dare you not like Tyler? And at the end of the day, uh, Tyler the Creator is an amazing artist. Every song I've heard from him, I feel like he's extremely talented. However, his music's never resonated with me personally. Therefore, uh, my, I guess, support of golf comes strictly from the clothing and the designs that they produce. Also, the community for golf uh, online is very, very toxic, but I will say that in person, outside the golf store, super dope individuals. Everyone is super nice and friendly, and I feel like you don't really get that same, like, snob vibe that you can get online. And I will say, it's not just golf that you get that vibe. Like, just in general, anytime a community has a very strong, tight-knit community, you always have those like snobs that feel the need to be like I was on this brand first but pieces like this and just in general I feel like golf does a great job of kind of making streetwear but it's streetwear that looks a little bit more mature. The type of hats that he makes, the type of fit that a lot of his pants or slacks have, the knitted sweaters, the sweater vest, things like that. It's very like adult and it has this like dapper style but with streetwear. It's really really unique and definitely one of the most unique brands out currently and that is why golf had to make it in the top three so for number two is golf and last but not least for number three we have palace <laughs> All right, guys, so getting into the last pieces, we have this contactless shirt. Wow, that's disappointing. There's literally a hole right here. Look at this. What the fuck? It's like on both sides too, which means it was how it was actually packaged. Like it's the exact same hole. That's kind of disappointing and probably not the best look, but I will say I kind of figured when I first opened this and felt it, the quality was not the same as the Golf Wang or even Supreme Tees. I love the design. I'm really disappointed with the fact that I literally have worn it for, uh, this video and there's already holes on the back and front of it. It's literally falling apart, but it's super dope. It's got all these credit cards on it. It's like some TJX6 scamma shit. All these cards have different names and I'm kind of curious like what these names represent. I don't know, maybe from the Palace team or something. This is Palpay. Like there's all these different cool logo flips and I love that about Palace. I love how Palace does a lot of different flips on their own logo and like they implement their brand very well into pieces. This piece is a little bit more basic. This is the Inverso or Inverto crew or something like that. It's basically just a French Terry crew neck. You have this like sewn in fabric right here and then of course you have the triferg on the titty the chesticle but you have a ton of other different logo flips like this right here this is the jobsworth tee you have the old macintosh logo but of course it's the triferg instead of an apple there were a lot of rumors that this tee or uh, hoodie was removed from the site and taken down due to copyright reasons because this was never actually in the lookbook you guys saw this in the little uh lookbook preview or little like try on session that i did i think this is the pink shirt this is like a reference to an old school blackberry it says palace skateboards right here which is so unrealistic because you can't can't even type you don't got all the letters and you have like four a's but whatever all you need to type is palace skateboards and hopefully you don't need to type any 
of the other letters for your address when you're ordering on Palace Skateboards with this phone. I wish this was a little bit smaller to be honest, but overall it's still really dope. I love the reference and I love that Palace references a lot of old school shit. Even in their pieces, like a lot of their pieces are vintage style pieces. I feel like Palace kills it and overall, Palace might be, I don't know man, it's really hard to decide which brand I like best. Like I like FTP a lot in terms of the community and the style and the way everything is ran. I respect FTP the most. This sounds kind of crazy saying because I've been such a long time supporter of FTP and Palace. I think golf makes my favorite shit right now. Like they're just killing it. Their style's amazing. I can't decide though. I don't know. I don't know man, it's so hard. Like I said, I respect FTP more than a lot of brands, period. God, why does your mom keep texting me? Tell your mom that you liked this video. Like, I know that she doesn't know that you liked it because you didn't tell her yet, but like, please text your mom real quick and tell her that you liked the video so that way she can stop texting me and telling me to tell you to like the video. It's just ridiculous. Like, come on, bro. I'm tired of telling you guys this. Anyways, real quick before we go, a little bit of information about Palace. Of course, Palace is known for using the Triferg, which is a flip on the Penrose Triangle. I believe they were established in 2009 and it's a London-based skateboard brand. But of course, they've been known for their clothes and their Triferg has become increasingly popular. I will say it seems in the past years, one thing that I will complain about or my one caveat to Palace being on this list, it seems like they overuse the Trifer quite a bit. Although they do a lot of logo flips, I wish their collections were a little bit smaller because it seems like they're just trying to keep up with Supreme at times. Did you not tell your mom that you liked the video because she's texting me again? I'm like, dude, like, why is your mom still texting me, bro? Just hit that gray thumb and turn that gray thumb blue. Okay, anyways, clearly your mom wants you to like the video. She's not pleased with you. So I'm gonna bid you guys farewell. Make sure you let her know that you like the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys like this different format. And you guys like the edits. This definitely takes a lot more time, but I took the extra time to make this video and I got it up pretty quickly. And the reason for that was because you guys have been killing it with the support. You guys have been killing it with the likes. So thank you guys so much. Please take a second, hit that like button down below and let me know which of these three favorite brands you guys like, or if you guys think there are other brands that you like more than Supreme or will ever be bigger than Supreme or have the potential to be bigger than Supreme. Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep living this life. Peace the fuck out. The bang bitch holler when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers.